good <coughs> morning. We made it through uh, breakfast. Seiji woke up uh, with no fever, uh, so we went ahead and uh, gave him his medicine uh, that the doctor said that we should. And we had breakfast, and now we're on our way to a small park um, away from Ibatake. <laughs> As we're just like walking down the street, they just like hand you manju to get you to come into the store and buy more. The hand you manju is full of like red bean paste and it's really flaky. It's really good. Oh, I'm thinking about it. The last time I was in Kazatsa, I was here with my husband's family. This was packed with snow. We came in like the middle of dead winter. The dead middle of winter. Wow. And uh, we had to drive up and down slopes and we stayed at like this really, really tiny hotel. This time we decided to stay at kind of like the really famous one just to try it out and be close to where we wanted to go for walking, etc. But this is like the perfect season to come. It's Kotatsu because it's cold enough. Look, <laughs> hey baby. Cold enough you can enjoy the, the baths and stuff without being too hot. But also the um, the leaves are turning. So if you're really a fan of the Japanese maple momiji or Icho, the ginkgo leaves, then you come here. This is the little park that we're gonna come to. And uh, it's got like a stream. And uh, you can see some people. This is like a foot bath. You can come and put your feet in for free. And these are all like the natural hot springs and then they just run all the way down into that foot bath. That looks really hot. Anyway, this is all so pretty. There's a, it looks like a shrine. Might be a shrine up there. Okay, so there is an onsen up here that you can get into. Kid, adults pay 600 yen, kids pay 300. Um, if you don't have towels, I recommend bringing your own towels, but they have prices for bath towels. On Fridays, it is co-ed. So, just be aware of that. If you come on Fridays, it's co-ed from 5.30 to 8 p.m. So 5.30 to 8 p.m., that one set up there is co-ed. <laughs> Do with that information what you will. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna put my hand in the hot spring because I wanna know exactly how hot it freaking is. Wow, this is all water. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, it's, that looks hot AF. Just be kind of wary when you come in. I'm gonna go ahead and touch it. Ooh, I was a little bit worried. Oh, it's actually, actually not as hot as I thought it would be. Um, it's actually like, I'd probably say it was like 39, maybe? 39 degrees Celsius? It's not, it's actually not that hot. You guys need to know a little bit more about Sainokawara Park. There is an explanation here in Japanese and in English. This park is super pretty and if you're looking for not being in the city or getting away from your hotel in this area and stuff like that, I highly recommend uh, just taking a walk up here. Uh, if you have kids, it's really stroller friendly. Um, so I would definitely recommend like this area for kids if you want to take a walk. Um, but if you have like itty bitty itty bitties, I would probably recommend keeping a good close eye on them because you don't want them getting their hands into any of the uh, hot springs. Oh cool, so we found one. We found Devil's Kettle Monument. Uh, so this is the Devil's Kettle apparently and it's this and I bet it is super hot. So this is how they make the onsen manju. They like underneath is like a a uh, spout where the onsen steam comes out and then the manju are in here and it steams the manju so that's why it's called onsen manju
This is like a little uh, park right off the side of the road. So when you're driving, you can go from here and then once you pass underneath the bridge, you can go and there's a parking you can walk down here and enjoy the trees during the fall time. This is really pretty. The um, trees are like really pretty all the way around there so you can see the changing momijis, the changing maple leaves on this side. And then there's a Michi no Eki, which is like a, a town like souvenir shop area where you can like eat some ice cream or do that stuff. It's all on the way out of town or into town in Kusasu. So this has been quite fun actually. So like this whole building is the entrance and then the where you get to the apple picking is behind this building. And then the orchards and the greenhouses are all back there. So since Seiji is feeling a little bit better and we had some time before we had to turn in our rental car, we decided to come up to Numata and do some apple picking. Um, it's I think for two adults and kid under three. It was 990 yen, and I think we have to eat the apple and then pick another one. And then on the way home, we can like pick a basket. Like we can take a basket and pick them up, I think. Uh, take them home, I don't know. I'm gonna have to listen to the thing a little bit more, but uh, we're gonna go see. The orchards here are huge. I've never seen orchards this big, but all of the apples are, uh, like Japan, Japanese style apples, they're very big. Never seen anyone like the small red delicious we get back in America. Come on, hun. You finished eating your apple? Bingo. Yeah. So this this particular one is called an akagi. Uh, one and it's like an extreme red. I don't know if it's showing up on here, but it's like a different red from the Fujis. The Fujis are completely different. Ah, fun. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Kaku is a little less sweet than the Fuji, a little less sweet than the golden ones. It's got kind of like a woody, a woody taste to it. It's not, it's not very sweet. It's kind of dry. It's woody. I don't like the Akagi ones. <laughs> My husband is giving me the worst look right now. <laughs> we got like a little basket. I think this is 1,200 yen and you can fit as many apples as you want inside of this but i don't know how many apples we're gonna be able to like, actually get into this they're pretty big uh, my best is like three three apples really good ones in the middle of the tree but i can't quite reach them i'm sending my husband up to get them get your apple Careful! Oh, did you get it? Come <laughs> back. 
So we finally got five apples in the little basket. Can I see it? We have like two tiny ones and three big ones. Yay, we did it, five apples. We are finally home. All right, so we're finally home. It only took us about, I think three to four hours, um, including the apple picking. Uh, to get home uh, from the time we stopped and left and then got back on the road. Uh, Seiji has had no problems. He's only been a little bit coffee. Uh, if you like what we're doing here and you kind of want to see more of our adventures, uh, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe and we'll let you know the next time that we have something up. All right, bye.